So as many of you know, I've been playing around with 360 degree cameras. I started off on the low end of the spectrum. I tried an Insta360 Air, which has some advantages. It certainly was uh, advantageous in that, you know, you could attach it directly to your smartphone and it was relatively easy to carry around, certainly very compact. Um, I decided though that in the long run that particular camera wasn't going to be suitable for my needs and uh, I decided to send it back and instead purchase the Samsung Gear 360 and uh, it's arrived now and I'm just going to unbox it and share with you um, you know what this particular camera is all about. So here's the box it's kind of a nice box I like it as boxes go. I don't know why people focus so much on the box. Slides off easy enough. There's There was some tape, but I've already removed that. And uh, just take the packaging open like this. And there's the camera and the accessories are over here. Um, let's just take the camera out for a moment here. It's kind of a nice, simple design. Let me just put this aside for a moment here. And let's just focus on the camera itself, of course, because that's what is important. Um, it's a nice, simple design. I like the fact that it stands upright on its own so that you're not having to necessarily deal with connecting physically to a smartphone or uh, while it does have a tripod mount at the bottom, it doesn't require a tripod. So you can place it just about anywhere. Um, I had one of these uh, around the house, so I'm going to try it with this as well. This is one of these uh, little tripods that's bendable and adjustable. Um, I wasn't using it for anything, so I've kind of earmarked that to work with the Insta, sorry, the Gear 360. I'm still saying the Insta 360. So this uh, this will be a, a neat little toy to try out. Uh, one of the things that's different about the this camera versus the Insta360 is that there is a slot. Uh, you probably can't see it right here, but uh, using a fingernail, you can pop out a little tray that holds up to a 256 gigabyte micro SD card. So you can definitely store your images or your videos directly on the camera itself. Um, the controls, so you, you, while it really is designed to work well with a smartphone, it does have controls on the sides of the dual lens top, as well as a capture button on the front. And there's a little uh, LCD display here at the front, which will display information to you as well. So that's basically the short version of the camera itself. Um, I'm kind of already aware of these accessories, so there, there's not really uh, a big surprise here. This is a very unusual uh, wrist strap that's available. If I can get this open here. Um, it's a wrist strap with what almost appears like um, like a mini life preserver or something. Some people have suggested that this is some kind of bizarre sex toy. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about that. But uh, this this connects to the side. And the idea is, is that the base that, that you see here, um, the camera itself can rest on it. And it acts as a bit of a shock absorber. Um, th this has received some criticism. Um, but of course, I'm not going to worry too much about that. Personally, I think I would probably try to, because you can s slide the cord through, and I just wonder if I cannot even just remove the uh, this item itself entirely. I'm not sure. I don't want to do anything that's going to uh, damage it, but um, I probably won't even use it at all. Uh, USB cable, and what's uh, unique about this particular USB cable is that it's USB-C, so this will connect to newer devices. I kind of like USB-C. Uh, well, it's regular standard uh, USB, I guess A is what you call that on this end. Um, but the cable, of course, um, one of the nice things about C is that it's uh, 
bi-directional you can or unidirectional I'm not sure what yeah bi-directional is right I can put this cable on I don't have to fumble around with which way I'm putting it on so it will fit no matter what this will uh, also charge the device so you can pick up a power block specifically for this or just simply plug it into uh, your computer or laptop what have you so that's pretty straightforward there we'll just put that aside also comes with a carrying case and this is a good feature to have it's uh, just a nice soft comfortable carrying case with a uh, you know just a, a, a f uh, drawstring at the top to keep it sealed and protected of course um, I've read some comments that the the lenses on this particular camera itself are prone to scratching so uh, you know having it safely inside uh, uh, this particular pouch will be beneficial and of course being able to draw that up will further protect it so that's good and the rest of the packaging of course there's the usual mini owner's manual and all that good stuff and that's pretty much it I, my first instinct is that this might be the camera that i keep i'm not looking for something that you know is is super expensive i picked this up on amazon for less than 200 canadian dollars i'll provide a link in the description of this video so that if you're interested in looking at this um, more likely I'm going to keep this camera because of its versatility and that it can be used many different ways. Whereas the Insta360 was limited to just being connected to the smartphone. This can go on a tripod. I can handhold this device, um, you know, and I can place it on mini tripods or I could just simply place it on a solid surface and record from there. Uh, the other nice thing actually as well that I've learned, and I'll go into probably more detail about this in the full review, um, is that I can use just one of these lenses. So I can have sort of a GoPro style wide angle view for video or still as well. So uh, look forward to that and uh, thanks guys for watching. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at PaulWilsonLD, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.